Hello, my name is Zaid Jarrar. I want to thank you for providing us with the opportunity to present this for you today. We are Team Digby and we are currently in Industry G77209. We are a team of five dedicated individuals that will inform you about our past, current achievements, as well as our plans for the future. I'm going to talk about our mission, vision, goals, and strategies. Christina is going to talk about our sales, stock value for the past four years. Trevor will talk about our net profits and return on sales. Allison will talk about our return on assets and our competition. Andrew will speak about our results, future, future plans, and why to invest in our company. As a company, we believe in the global accessibility of quality and technological products with the intention of making each consumer's life more fulfilling and easier. Our company provides state-of-the-art and top-of-the-line products for technology-oriented customers globally, and our priority is to make our customers satisfied. Our goals we plan on increasing our profits for the coming years. Uh, we want to obtain the majority of market shares and staying ahead of our competitors. We will focus on constantly updating our products by introducing innovative and new ideas to our products and also to provide our shareholders with pos po uh, positive profits. The strategy we chose is, is the niche differentiator as it focuses upon the high technology segments and it's going to give us advantage at, by distinguishing our products with the excellent design, high awareness, easy accessibility. We will also expand capacity as we generate higher demand. And now Christina is going to tell us, uh, talk to you about our market shares and sales. Thank you for the introduction, Zay. My name is Christina and I'm here to discuss market share, total sales and stock value. Our market share grew from 6% in the first year to 19% in the fourth year, which uh, made us become the second largest industry with 90% of market share um, after the fourth year. Um, regarding the sales, we had the highest percentage increase in sales in the United States over a four-year period. Um, by the fourth year, we decreased our price, which helped us attract more customers and become a threat to our competitors. Um, moving on to the stock value, at the end of the first year, our stock price was $3.92 per share. Uh, at the end of the second year, our stock price decreased to $1 a share. Um, at the end of the third year, uh, we decided to uh, take actions and um, invest in product quality, uh, pay off our emergency loans, uh, increase sales, and pay off uh, dividends to some of our investors. Now, here is Trevor. Hello, everybody. Again, my name is Trevor Lewis. And right now, we're going to be going through net profit year by year to really gain an understanding of where our company started out and where we are right now. At the end of 2017, we found ourselves with an abysmal negative $4.5 million worth of net profit. And this can really be primarily attributed to an outrageously priced product in a very competitive market that the consumers weren't very receptive to. So following this consistent trend, in 2018, we found ourselves with a massive inventory and we didn't have the sales to match it. So we had to take out a $27 million loan. So after these consistent failures, we came together as a company and asked ourselves, how can we align our actions with our mission and our vision and our goals? And so we started then investing ourselves in very competitive, high performance products that we can return to our consumers and consistently see that net profit that our consumers demand. So following that, in year three, we didn't necessarily see that turnaround in net profit, but come year four in 2020, we were able to see a net profit of about $5 million for the first time. So that was a great a breath of fresh air, and we by no means think this is the end of our growth. We think we can consistently maintain this high growth in net income for our shareholders. 
So transitioning to return on sales, again, to have a benchmark to understand of where we started out and where we are right now. And to, we measured ourselves in 2017, we found our return on assets to be negative 17.27%. So this means for every dollar generated in sales, we lost an average of 17.27 cents. And again, when we came together as a company, we found ourselves questioning, what can we do better? So as a result of those decisions, in 2020, we were able to increase our return on sales to 17.9%. So for every dollar generated in sales, we were able to retain 17.9 cents worth of net profit. And to get an understanding of where we lie in our industry, we calculated the return on sales for our competitors. We found Ferris to be 8.73% and Baldwin to be 19.99%. So we generally believe that we we have a healthy return on sales, but again, we want more. We, be, we know we can do more for our company and maintain this growth to really make a dent in our market and to really capture that market share that we know we can have. Thank you. Thanks for the introduction, Trevor. My name is, again, Allison Manzi. Return on assets is basically an indicator of how profitable a company is um, relative to its total assets. So it's net income divided by total assets. If you look at the first three years we were in business, you can actually see that our return on assets was negative, which is really not good. So we decided to reevaluate our strategy. Um, and by doing, by doing so, we actually pushed our return on assets up to 13.6% which is really great because Chester is actually our second biggest competitor. And if you notice in the fourth round, we're about a point or so away from, from them, which is great. So that was a really big feat for us. So our regional competition, as far as our most relevant competitor, that was Chester because they had the highest market share. But our biggest competitor was Erie. We had the exact same products, but their products were produced at a much higher speed and a much higher accuracy um, throughout the entire simulation. But due to the changes that we made in the third year, we quickly emerged as one of the top producers in our industry. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Andrew to finish off the presentation. Thank you, Allie, for your analysis. My name is Andrew Rimler, and today I am going to conclude this presentation by talking about the results of the past four years, the future expectations, and why you should invest your hard-earned money in Digby. After facing one of the slowest starts in our industry, Digby displayed significant growth in years two through four. Digby's return on sales and return on assets experienced the largest growth of any company in our industry. These growing percentages indicate that Digby has been very profitable relative to the assets on hand. More specifically, the increasing return on sales percentage indicates Digby has grown more efficient over the past three years and headed towards financial prosperity. Digby's future is extremely bright. Digby will continue to grow its 19.2% market share in America while exploiting foreign markets as we capitalized on untapped potential by our competitors. Being a global brand differentiator, we have committed to increased financing in our product branding department as we strive to achieve high awareness and easy accessibility. Like our mission statement says, we believe in quality technological products. The people of Digby will not sleep until we achieve a superior design. No other brand in the industry has faced more adversity than Digby. After digging ourselves into a hole in year one, Digby has earned its status as one of the largest brands in America. Our experiences have made us stronger as a company, and we are ready to work harder than any of our competitors as we prepare to exploit numerous foreign markets. Digby's significant growth in sales and efficiency has proven our ability to learn and recover from our mistakes. Build your financial wealth by investing your hard-earned money in Digby, and we will go to work to ensure that you have chosen the industry's leading brand. Thank you.